was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is gonna be really fast uh, because I don't really have much to say about it, but I just wanted to stick to my word and do a two week update of this little unit right here. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is the Bobby Boss Copper um, wig in the shade one. Um, let's get serious for a second. I am not impressed, like, and I know, like, people are like, oh, but the wig is so cute and all this other stuff. I'm not impressed at all. I thought I would be. I thought I'd fall in love with this wig. I thought it would be, like, my favorite. So far, it has been my go-to. I like the style of it and everything, but, um, there's, there's a few things wrong with this wig. So, one... Um, it gets tangled really fast. Um, like I said, I was doing a two week update. I haven't even worn it for the whole two weeks. Um, I mainly wore it when I was like going out and stuff. Um, but I wasn't doing anything like too extreme with the hair and the ends would get like knotted and tangled. And then another thing, this wig gets stiff so fast like I feel like you know like the girl with the raggedy tracks like where she put in a ponytail her ponytail be like stuck like this and every time she move her head like I don't know how to explain it but like I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about like it gets stiff really fast like however you put put it and it's not like all of it but it's just like at the bottom it's like wherever you put it that's where it's going to stay um unfortunately I have not tried to straighten this wig yet only because I kind of like how like when it was like this I kind of like that like I didn't feel the need to straighten it I feel like um I don't know if you notice it but it's like this crinkly yakky texture on some of the parts um and I didn't want that to go away so I didn't want to straighten it just yet um so um I watched a couple other videos and like my my part is off center so it's like slightly over to the right a little bit more which is why like if you notice it the hair is like this and I watched a couple other videos and apparently like that's the style of the wig but it don't it don't look good so I don't know. I think I'm going to end up. This is probably going to be a one of the wigs. Like I end up revamping before school starts back. Like probably cutting it. And you know. I did pluck the part. Um, just slightly. I didn't do too much. Because like I said I want to revamp it. And I don't know if I'm, what I'm going to do with that. But um, like I said. This wig do comes with a comb in the back. And then two in the front. And adjustable straps. Um, and when I had my braids, I thought that I would not need anything but that. But you know, all the time, like, a person wear wigs, they don't always wear braids. So, it was kind of like, so if I don't have braids in my hair, this, like, slips off. So, I need extra protection or security, I guess. Um, yeah. So, just keep that in mind. Um... Unless you got a big head, then it should probably fit you just fine. But, I mean, there that's that. Uh, I still like the style of this wig. I'm still actually considering getting it in the different color, like the blue-green color. Um, but I don't like how, like, when I, like, rub my fingers through and I get to the end, it's like, see, like, it's like more of a tug. And it, it sticks, like, the end just sticks. I don't know how to describe it, but just be aware of that. Um, I kept this wig in pretty good condition for the past two weeks. Like, I wasn't, like, really harsh with it or anything. And even at times when I wasn't wearing it, 
I was still like kind of brush it out um it didn't really shed as much the only time I found it shedding was when I was trying to pluck out the part um which is extremely hard to do by the way because like some wigs when you pluck the part it's like the hairs just come right out this one you literally you have to yank it I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it just depends on your preference and if you're heavy-handed or not like but just things to keep in mind I was really rooting for this wig um, and these aren't like things that's completely turning me off from it it's just like sis now I gotta work harder with you like get these ends together and stuff like that like and then okay so I'm at the shade what exactly what I mean okay so like the back kind of bunches up I don't know if it's gonna do it because like I was just like playing in it but the back gets some type of way and it's like you can't always see the back of your head so you don't always know so you want to be out in public looking stupid but it's like the back just tangles up and it's like it tangles up really bad and yeah and she slides a lot like a lot like I can easily tug her back and forth like these combs really don't do anything so for now on, I'll probably be wearing her with bobby pants or, um, yeah, just with bobby pants. Because I was going to say got to be glue, but, like, I don't wear it, like, up front and center. Um, so, that wouldn't work. But, yeah. Those are my little remarks about this wig. If you've purchased this wig and you have, like tips that you would like to give me about it um you know leave them down below in the comment section i'm open for it maybe maybe it's me maybe it's not her maybe copper is doing what she's supposed to do maybe it's me i can't be the problem um but you know i think it's not likely though um but yeah um so, and if you want to, like, try this, oh my gosh, <laughs> if you want to try this wig out, um, and you want to know more about it, like, just leave a comment and I can answer your question to the best of my ability. Like, I know, like, there's different care things. Like, I'm pretty sure if I wash her, like, she'll get back to her normal, like, stage, like, stance with, like, flexibility like the mobility of the bottom and less tangling but it's only been two weeks and it's a wig I shouldn't have to like wash it as much as I wash my regular hair I guess like normally I have to wash my wigs like once maybe twice a month if it's like I've been wearing it a lot but I probably wore this wig a total of four maybe five times within the past two weeks yeah and most of them wasn't even for whole days it was probably just like for a picture or just to try on or something so yeah but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you know leave me a comment you know it, it doesn't have to be about like this wig in particular if you want me to try out a wig uh you know just drop the name of the wig and i'll try to find it um if you or just if you don't know like a particular wig you know just say a type of style and i'll try to find that as well um you know subscribe you know it's a little button down there somewhere and you should click it so we can be best friends now um and you can get all up in my my business whatever uh by joining my little you know, family like <laughs> yeah like see i know how splash about be with like imagination <laughs> like if i was really good at editing like we just gonna pretend it says subscribe so subscribe Okay, I'm so corny. And with that being said, I'm going to leave now. But yeah, um, final thoughts on this wig. I like it. I didn't like the tangling or the shedding. 
Um, I was really rooting for this wig, and that can be a big turn off for all synthetic wigs because, like I said, it is a synthetic wig, and it's kind of cheap, so you kind of get what you pay for. But like, I still pay for it, so I expect more for it from it. But you know, we still go. She cute, like she she make me look all uh, like bad and bougie, like like. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I'm still like ride it out with her and go with the purchase but just keep that in mind when you if you do purchase this wig um be prepared for uh, future sh tangling and stiffness those are the main two tangling and stiffness which isn't cute but it's fixable so yeah bye guys